Unit 4. Turning Effect of Forces. Students' learning outcomes after studying this unit, the students will be able to define like and unlike parallel forces. State head to tail rule of vector addition of forces vectors. Describe how a force is resolved into its perpendicular components. Determine the magnitude and direction of a force from its perpendicular components. Define moment of force or torque as moment equals force x perpendicular distance from pivot to the line of action of force. Explain the turning effect of force by relating it to everyday life. State the principle of moments. Define the center of mass and center of gravity of a body. Define couple as a pair of forces tending to produce rotation. Prove that the couple has the same moments about all points. Define equilibrium and classify its types by quoting examples from everyday life. State the two conditions for equilibrium of a body. Conceptual linkage. This unit is built on lever, science v machines, science v i kinematics, physics i x trigonometry, maths i x. This unit leads to rotational motion, vectors and equilibrium, physics x i. Force. Solve problems on simple balance systems when bodies are supported by one pivot only. Describe the states of equilibrium and classify them with common examples. Explain effect of the position of the center of mass on the stability of simple objects. The students will be able to determine the position of center of mass, gravity of regularly and irregularly shaped objects. The students will be able to illustrate by describing a practical application of moment of force in the working of bottle opener, spanner, door, windows handles, etc. Describe the working principle of seesaw. Demonstrate the role of couple in the steering wheels and bicycle pedals. Demonstrate through a balancing toy, racing car, etc. that the stability of an object can be improved by lowering the center of mass and increasing the base area of the objects. Can the nut of the axle of a bike be loosened with hand? Normally we use a spanner as shown in figure 4.1. A spanner increases the turning effect of the force. Look at the picture on the previous page. What is the joker doing? He is trying to balance himself on a wooden plank which is placed over a cylindrical pipe. Can we do the same? A baby gradually learns to stand by balancing herself. Women and children in the villages often carry pitchers with water on their heads such as shown in figure 4.2. With a little effort we can learn to balance a stick vertically up on our fingertip. Balanced objects are said to be in equilibrium. In this unit, we will. Learn many interesting concepts such as torque, equilibrium, etc. and their applications in daily life. Investigation skills. Science, technology and society connection. Major concepts. 4.1 forces on bodies 4.2 addition of forces 4.3 resolution of forces 4.4 moment of a force 4.5 principle of moments 4.6 center of mass 4.7 couple 4.8 equilibrium 4.9 stability. Figure 4.1 we can loose a nut with a spanner. Figure 4.2, children carrying pictures on their heads. Physics 985 Unit 4, turning effect of forces. Weight. Tension. F1. F2. Figure 4.4, unlike parallel forces, A, along the same line, B, can turn the object if not in line. A. B. 86 unit 4, turning effect of forces. 4.1 like and unlike parallel forces, we often come across objects on which many forces are acting. In many cases, we find all or some of the forces acting on a body in the same direction. For example, many people push a bus to start it. Why all of them push it in the same direction? All these forces are applied in the same direction so these are all parallel to each other. Such forces which are parallel to each other are called parallel forces. Figure 4.3 shows a bag with apples in it. 
The weight of each apple weight of the bag is due to the weight of all the apples in it. Since the weight of every apple in the bag is the force of gravity acting on it vertically downwards, therefore, weights of apples are the parallel forces. All these forces are acting in the same direction. Such forces are called like parallel forces. Like parallel forces are the forces that are parallel to each other and have the same direction. In figure 4.4, a, an apple is suspended by a string. The string is stretched due to weight of the apple. The forces acting on it are, weight of the apple acting vertically downwards and tension in the string pulling it vertically upwards. The two forces are parallel but opposite to each other. These forces are called unlike parallel forces. In figure 4.4, b, forces f and f are also unlike parallel 1-2 forces, because they are parallel and opposite to each other. But f and f are not acting along the same line and 1-2 hence they are capable to rotate the body. Unlike parallel forces are the forces that are parallel but have directions opposite to each other. 4.2 addition of forces force is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction, therefore, forces are not added by ordinary arithmetical rules. When forces are added, we get a resultant force. A resultant force is a single force that has the same effect as the combined effect of all the forces to be added. Weight of each apple figure 4.3, like parallel forces. Physics 9. A. B. W. S. N. E. A. A. B. 37 O. C. D. F. A B F2 F1 F3 Y X F2 F1 F3 Physics 987 Unit 4 Turning Effect of Forces One of the methods for the addition of forces is a graphical method. In this method forces can be added by head-to-tail rule of vector addition. Head-to-tail rule. Figure 4.5 shows a graphical method of vector addition. First select a suitable scale. Then draw the vectors of all the forces according to the scale, such as vectors A and B. Take any one of the vectors as first vector example vector A. Then draw next vector B such that its tail coincides with the head of the first vector A. Similarly draw the next vector for the third force, if any, with its tail coinciding with the head of the previous vector, and so on. Now draw a vector R such that its tail is at the tail of vector A, the first vector, while its head is at the head of vector B, the last vector, as shown in figure 4.5. Vector R represents the resultant force completely in magnitude and direction. Example 4.1 Find the resultant of three forces 12n along x-axis, 8n making an angle of 45 degrees with x-axis and 8n along y-axis. Solution Here f equals 1 12n along x-axis. f equals 2 8n along 45 degrees with x-axis. f equals 8n along y-axis 3 scale. 1 cm equals 2n. I represent the forces by vectors f, f1, 2, and f3 according to the scale in the given direction. 2. Arrange these forces f, f, and f. The tail of 1, 2, 3 force f coincides with the head of force at 2 point b as shown in figure 4.6. Similarly, the tail of force f coincides with the head of force f at 3, 2 point c. 3. Join point of the tail of the force F1 and point D the head of force F. Let AD represents force F, 3 according to head to tail rule, force F represents the resultant force. It should be noted that head to tail rule can be used to add any number of F O R C E S. T H E V E C T O R representing resultant force gives the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. Figure 4.5, adding vectors by head-to-tail rule. 
Figure 4.6, adding forces by head to tail rule. AC. B. Base. Hypotenuse perpendicular. Y. O. F. FXBX. A. FY. Ratio 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Sin 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.8661. Cos 1, 0 0.866, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.50. Zero. Tan 0, 0 0.5771, 1, 1 1.732. 1, 4. Measure AD and multiply it by 2 ncm, the scale to find the magnitude of the resultant force F. V. Measure the angle dab using a protractor which the force F makes with X axis. This gives the direction of the resultant force. For point 3 resolution of forces. The process of splitting up vectors, forces, into their component forces is called resolution of forces. If a force is formed from two mutually perpendicular components, then such components are called its perpendicular components. Splitting up of a force into two mutually perpendicular components is called the resolution of that force. Consider a force F represented by line OA making an angle with x-axis as shown in figure 4.7. Draw a perpendicular AB on x-axis from A. According to head-to-tail rule, OA is the resultant of vectors represented by OB and BA. Thus the components OB and BA are perpendicular to each other. They are called the perpendicular components of OA representing force F. Hence OB represents its X component F and BA represents its XY component FY dash. Therefore, equation 4.1 can be written as the magnitudes F and F of forces F and F can be X, Y, X, Y found using the trigonometric ratios. In right angle triangle OBA. Equations 4.3 and 4.4 give the perpendicular components F and F respectively. X, Y. The ratios between any of its two sides of a right angle triangle are given certain names such as sine, cosine, etc. Consider a right angle triangle AABC having angle 6 at A. Some trigonometric ratios. Physics 988 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. Since. Similarly. Y. O. F. FXPX. O. FY. FY Q Physics 989 Unit 4 Turning Effect of Forces Example 4.2 A man is pulling a trolley on a horizontal road with a force of 200N making 30 degrees with the road. Find the horizontal and vertical components of its force. Solution Thus, Horizontal and vertical components of the pulling force are 173.2 N and 100 N respectively. Determination of a force from its perpendicular components. Since a force can be resolved into two perpendicular components, its reverse is to determine the force knowing its perpendicular components. Consider Fx and Fy as the perpendicular components of a force F. These perpendicular components Fx and Fy are represented by lines OP and PR respectively as shown in figure 4.8. According to head-to-tail rule. Thus OR will completely represent the force F whose X and Y components are F and F respectively. X, Y that is. The magnitude of the force F can be determined using the right angle triangle OPR. The direction of force F with X axis is given by. In a right angle triangle length of base is 4 cm and its perpendicular is 3 cm. Find. I. Length of hypotenuse. 2. Sin. 3. Cos. 4. Tan. Figure 4.8. 
determination of a force by its perpendicular components. Since or similarly or hence physics 990 unit 4 turning effect of forces 4.4 torque or moment of a force we open or close a door figure 4.9 by pushing or pulling it here push or pull turn the door about its hinge or axis of rotation the door is opened or closed due to the turning effect of the force acting on it rigid body a body is composed of large number of small particles if the distances between all pairs of particles of the body do not change by applying a force then it is called a rigid body in other words a rigid body is the one that is not deformed by force or forces acting on it axis of rotation consider a rigid body rotating about a line the particles of the body move in circles with their centers all lying on this line this line is called the axis of rotation of the body forces that produce turning effect are very common turning pencil in a sharpener turning stopcock of a water tap turning doorknob and so on are some of the examples where a force produces turning effect quick quiz name some more objects that work by the turning effects of forces the turning effect of a force is called torque or moment of the force why the handle of a door is fixed near the outer edge of a door we can open or close a door more easily by applying a force at the outer edge of a door rather than near the hinge thus the location where the force is applied to turn a body is very important figure 4.9 it is easy to open and close the door by pulling or pushing it at its handle figure 4.10 turning effect of forces moment arm moment arm force force moment arm c f l a b a line of action of force axis of rotation physics 991 unit 4 turning effect of forces torque let us study the factors on which torque or moment of a force depends you might have seen that a mechanic uses a spanner as shown in figure 4.11 to loosen or tighten a nut or a bolt a spanner having long arm helps him to do it with greater ease than the one figure 4.11 it is easy to tighten a nut using a spanner of longer arm than a spanner of shorter arm having short arm it is because the turning effect of the force is different in the two cases. The moment produced by a force using a spanner of longer arm is greater than the torque produced by the same force but using a spanner of shorter arm. Line of action of a force. The line along which a force acts is called the line of action of the force. In figure 4.12, line BC is the line of action of force F. Moment arm. The perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action of the force is called the moment arm of the force. It is represented by the distance L in figure 4.12. The torque or moment of a force depends upon the force F and the moment arm L of the force. Greater is a force, greater is the moment of the force. Similarly, longer is the moment arm, greater is the moment of the force. Thus the moment of the force or torque is determined by the product of force F and its moment arm L, mathematically. Figure 4.12, factors affecting the moment of a force. Force A B, force Small distance, large distance Small weight, large weight Physics 992 Unit 4 Turning effect of forces. SI unit of torque is Newton meter, Nm. A torque of 1 Nm is caused by a force of 1 N acting perpendicular to the moment arm 1 M long. Example 4.3. A mechanic tightens the nut of a bicycle using a 15 cm long spanner by exerting a force of 200 N. Find the torque that has tightened it. Solution. 
Thus, a torque of 30 Nm is used to tighten the nut. 4.5 principle of moments A force that turns a spanner in the clockwise direction is generally used to tighten a nut as shown in figure 4.13a. The torque or moment of the force so produced is called clockwise moment. On the other hand, to loosen a nut, the force is applied such that it turns the nut in the anticlockwise direction as shown in figure 4.13b. The torque or moment of the force so produced is called anticlockwise moment. A body initially at rest does not rotate if sum of all the clockwise moments acting on it is balanced by the sum of all the anticlockwise moments acting on it. This is known as the principle of moments. According to the principle of moments, a body is balanced if the sum of clockwise moments acting on the body is equal to the sum of anticlockwise moments acting on it. Quick quiz 1. Can a small child play with a fat child on the seesaw? Explain how. 2. Two children are sitting on the seesaw, such that they cannot swing. What is the net torque in this situation? Using Figure 4.13, A, to tighten, nut is turned clockwise, B, to loosen, nut is turned anticlockwise. Figure 4.14, Children on Seesaw Mini exercise A force of 150N can loosen a nut when applied at the end of a spanner 10 cm long. 1. What should be the length of the spanner to loosen the same nut with a 60N force? 2. How much force would be sufficient to loosen it with a 6 cm long spanner? AOB W1W2 ABO Physics 993 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces Example 4.4 A meter rod is supported at its middle point O as shown in figure 4.15. The block of weight 10 north is suspended at point B, 40 cm from O, find the weight of the block that balances it at point A, 25 cm from O. Figure 4.15, balancing a meter rod on a wedge. Solution Moment arm of W equals OA equals 25 centimeters equals 0.25 M1 moment arm of W equals OB equals 40 centimeters equals 0.40 M2 applying principle of moments. Clockwise moments equals anticlockwise moments. Moment of W equals moment of W21 moment arm of W equals W21X moment arm of W1 thus. Or Thus, weight of the block suspended at point A is 16 N. 4.6 Center of Mass It is observed that the center of mass of a system moves as if its entire mass is confined at that point. A force applied at such a point in the body does not produce any torque in it i.e. the body moves in the direction of net force F without rotation. Consider a system of two particles A and B connected by a light rigid rod as shown in figure 4.16. Figure 4.16, center of mass of two unequal masses. Or W1X. O O O. F F F. O F O F O F. O F O F O F. Center of gravity. Entire weight. Physics 994 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. Let O is a point anywhere between A and B such that the force F is applied at point O as shown in figure 4.17. If the system moves in the direction of force F without rotation, then point O is the center of mass of the system. Does the system still move without rotation if the force acts elsewhere on it? I, let the force be applied near the lighter particle as shown in figure 4.18. The system moves as well as rotates. 2. Let the force be applied near the heavier particle as shown in figure 4.19. In this case, also the system moves as well as rotates. Center of mass of a system is such a point where an applied force causes the system to move without rotation. 4.6 Center of Gravity 
A body is made up of a large number of particles as illustrated in figure 4.20. Earth attracts each of these particles vertically downward towards its center. The pull of the Earth acting on a particle is equal to its weight. These forces acting on the particles of a body are almost parallel. The resultant of all these parallel forces is a single force equal to the weight of the body. A point where this resultant force acts vertically towards the center of the Earth is called the center of gravity G of the body. A point where the whole weight of the body appears to act vertically downward is called center of gravity of a body. It is useful to know the location of the center of gravity of a body in problems dealing with equilibrium. Figure 4.17, a force applied at COM moves the system without rotation. Figure 4.18, the system moves as well as rotates when a force is applied away from COM. Figure 4.19, the system moves as well as rotates when a force is applied away from COM. G, G, G. G, 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 G. G. A. B, C, D, E, F. Physics 995 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. Center of gravity of some symmetrical objects. The center of gravity of objects which have symmetrical shapes can be found from their geometry. For example, the center of gravity of a uniform rod lies at a point where it is balanced. This balance point is its middle point G, as shown in figure 4.21. Figure 4.21, center of gravity is at the middle of a uniform rod. The center of a gravity of a uniform square or a rectangular sheet is the point of intersection of its diagonals as shown in figure 4.22, A, and C. The center of gravity of a uniform circular disk is its center as shown in figure 4.22, B. Similarly, the center of gravity of a solid sphere or hollow sphere is the center of the spheres as shown in figure 4.22, B. The center of gravity of a uniform triangular sheet is the point of intersection of its medians as shown in figure 4.22, D. The center of gravity of a uniform circular ring is the center of the ring as shown in figure 4.22, E. The center of gravity of a uniform solid or hollow cylinder is the middle point on its axis as shown in figure 4.22, F. Figure 4.22, center of gravity of some symmetrical objects. G. W. Center of gravity. W. Center of gravity of an irregular shaped thin lamina A simple method to find the center of gravity of a body is by the use of a plumb line. A plumb line consists of a small metal bob, lead or brass, supported by a string. When the bob is suspended freely by the string, it rests along the vertical direction due to its weight acting vertically downward as shown in figure 4.23a. In this state, center of gravity of the bob is exactly below its point of suspension. Pull. Push. F. F. O A B. Center of gravity. Checking line. A B. Plumb line. A. B. G C. Physics 996 Unit 4. Turning effect of forces. Experiment. Take an irregular piece of cardboard. Make holes A, B and C as shown in figure 4.23, B, near its edge. Fix a nail on a wall. Support the cardboard on the nail through one of the holes, let it be A, so that the cardboard can swing freely about A. The cardboard will come to rest with its center of gravity just vertically below the nail. Vertical line from A can be located using a plumb line hung from the nail. Mark the line on the cardboard behind the plumb line. Repeat it by supporting the cardboard from hole B. The line from B will intersect at a point G. Similarly, draw another line from the hole C. Note that this line also passes through G. It will be found that all the vertical lines from holes A, B and C have a common point G. This common point G is the center of gravity of the cardboard. 
4.7 couple. When a driver turns a vehicle, he applies forces that produce a torque. This torque turns the steering wheel. These forces act on opposite sides of the steering wheel as shown in figure 4.24 and are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. These two forces form a couple. A couple is formed by two unlike parallel forces of the same magnitude but not along the same line. A double arm spanner is used to open a nut. Equal forces each of magnitude fair applied on ends A and B of a spanner in opposite direction as shown in figure 4.25. These forces form a couple that turns the spanner about 0.0. The torques produced by both the forces of a couple have the same direction. Thus, the total torque produced by the couple will be Total torque of the couple Torque of the couple Equation 4.8 gives the torque produced by a couple of forces F and F separated by distance AB. The torque of a couple is given by the product of one of Figure 4.24, it is easy to turn a steering wheel by applying a couple. Figure 4.25, a double arm spanner. Figure 4.23, a, plumb line, b, locating the center of gravity of a piece of cardboard by using plumb line. F1 pull F2. W. Pull. Weight. F. F. Physics 997 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. The two forces and the perpendicular distance between them. For point 8 equilibrium. Newton's first law of motion tells us that a body continues its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line if no resultant or net force acts on it. For example, a book lying on a table or a picture hanging on a wall, are at rest. The weight of the book acting downward is balanced by the upward reaction of the table. Consider a log of wood of weight W supported by ropes as shown in figure 4.26. Here the weight W is balanced by the forces F1 and F pulling the log upward. In case of objects moving with too uniform velocity, the resultant force acting on them is zero. A car moving with uniform velocity on a leveled road and an aeroplane flying in the air with uniform velocity are the examples of bodies in equilibrium. A body is said to be in equilibrium if no net force acts on it. A body in equilibrium thus remains at rest or moves with uniform velocity. Conditions for equilibrium in the above examples, we see that a body at rest or in uniform motion is in equilibrium if the resultant force acting on it is zero. For a body in equilibrium, it must satisfy certain conditions. There are two conditions for a body to be in equilibrium. First condition for equilibrium. A body is said to satisfy first condition for equilibrium if the resultant of all the forces acting on it is zero. Let n number of forces F, 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 1, 2, 3, Fn are acting on a body such that. The symbol is a Greek letter called sigma used for summation. Equation 4.9 is called the first condition for equilibrium. Do you know? A cyclist pushes the pedals of a bicycle. This forms a couple that acts on the pedals. The pedals cause the toothed wheel to turn making the rear wheel of the bicycle to rotate. Figure 4.26, the forces acting on the log are, upward forces F, F and 1 to its weight W in the downward direction. Figure 4.27, a wall hanging is in equilibrium. 10 N W T F2 F1 A F2 F1 B Physics 998 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces The first condition for equilibrium can also be stated in terms of X and Y components of the forces. Acting on the body as A book lying on a table or a picture hanging on a wall, are at rest and thus satisfy first condition for equilibrium. 
a paratrooper coming down with terminal velocity, constant velocity, also satisfies first condition for equilibrium and is thus in equilibrium. Example 4.5 a block of weight 10N is hanging through a cord as shown in figure 4.29. Find the tension in the cord. Solution. Weight of the block W equals 10N. Tension in the cord T equals. Applying first condition for equilibrium. There is no force acting along X axis. Thus, the tension in the cord is 10N. Second condition for equilibrium. First condition for equilibrium does not ensure that a body is in equilibrium. This is clear from the following example. Consider a body pulled by the forces F1 and F2 as shown in figure 4.30a. The two forces are equal but opposite to each other. Both are acting along the same line, hence their resultant will be zero. According to the first condition, the body will be in. And Figure 4.28, a paratrooper coming down with terminal velocity is in equilibrium. Figure 4.29 Figure 4.30, A, two equal and opposite forces acting along the same lines, B, two equal and opposite forces acting along different lines. A, O, G, B 0.5 m 0.25 m 0.75 m r fw physics 999 unit 4 turning effect of forces equilibrium now shift the location of the forces as shown in figure 4.30 b in this situation the body is not in equilibrium although the first condition for equilibrium is still satisfied it is because the body has the tendency to rotate. This situation demands another condition for equilibrium in addition to the first condition for equilibrium. This is called second condition for equilibrium. According to this, a body satisfies second condition for equilibrium when the resultant torque acting on it is zero. Mathematically. Quick quiz 1. A ladder leaning at a wall as shown in figure 4.31 is in equilibrium. How? 2. The weight of the ladder in figure 4.31 produces an anticlockwise torque. The wall pushes the ladder at its top end thus produces a clockwise torque. Does the ladder satisfy second condition for equilibrium? 3. Does the speed of a ceiling fan go on increasing all the time? 4. Does the fan satisfy second condition for equilibrium when rotating with uniform speed? Example 4.6 a uniform rod of length 1.5 m is placed over a wedge at 0.5 m from its one end. A force of 100 n is applied at one of its ends near the wedge to keep it horizontal. Find the weight of the rod and the reaction of the wedge. Solution A rod balanced over a wedge. A, B. G, G. Physics 9 100 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. Applying second condition for equilibrium, taking talks about O. Applying first condition for equilibrium. Thus, weight of the rod is 200 N and reaction of. The wedge is 300 N. States of equilibrium. There are three states of equilibrium, stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, and neutral equilibrium. A body may be in one of these three states of equilibrium. Stable equilibrium. Figure 4.33, stable equilibrium, A, a book is lying on a table, B, the book returns to its previous position when let free after a slight tilt. Consider a book lying on the table. Tilt the book. Slightly about its one edge by lifting it from the opposite. Side as shown in figure 4.33. It returns to its previous. Or? G, G, G. A, B, C. Physics 9101 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. 
position when sets free. Such a state of the body is called stable equilibrium. Thus, a body is said to be in stable equilibrium if after a slight tilt it returns to its previous position. When a body is in stable equilibrium, its center of gravity is at the lowest position. When it is tilted, its center of gravity rises. It returns to its stable state by lowering its center of gravity. A body remains in stable equilibrium as long as the center of gravity acts through the base of the body. Consider a block as shown in figure 4.34. When the block is tilted, its center of gravity G rises. If the vertical line through G passes through its base in the tilted position as shown in figure 4.34, B, the block returns to its previous position. If the vertical line through G gets out of its base as shown in figure 4.34, C, the block does not return to its previous position. It topples over its base and moves to new. Figure 4.34, A, block in stable equilibrium, B, slightly tilted block is returning to its previous position, C, a more tilted block topples over its base and does not return to its previous position. Stable equilibrium position. That is why a vehicle is made heavy at its bottom to keep its center of gravity as low as possible. A lower center of gravity keeps it stable. Moreover, the base of a vehicle is made wide so that the vertical line passing through its center of gravity should not get out of its base during a turn. Unstable equilibrium. Take a pencil and try to keep it in the vertical position on its tip as shown in figure 4.36. Whenever you leave it, the pencil topples over about its tip and falls down. This is called the unstable equilibrium. In unstable equilibrium, a body may be made to stay only. A, B. Topple over. G, G. Figure 4.36, unstable equilibrium, A, pencil just balanced at its tip with center of gravity G at the highest position, B. Pencil topples over caused by the torque of its weight acting at G. Figure 4.35, a double-decker bus being under test for stability. Can you do this without falling? A, B. Needle. Cork. Fork. Can. Vehicles are made heavy at the bottom. This lowers their center of gravity and helps to increase their stability. Physics 9102 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces For a moment, thus a body is unable to keep itself in the state of unstable equilibrium. Thus, if a body does not return to its previous position when sets free after a slightest tilt is said to be in unstable equilibrium. The center of gravity of the body is at its highest position in the state of unstable equilibrium. As the body topples over about its base, tip, its center of gravity moves towards its lower position and does not return to its previous position. Neutral equilibrium. Take a ball and place it on a horizontal surface as shown in figure 4.37. Roll the ball over the surface and leave it after displacing from its previous position. It remains in its new position and does not return to its previous position. This is called neutral equilibrium. If a body remains in its new position when disturbed from its previous position, it is said to be in a state of neutral equilibrium. In neutral equilibrium, all the new states in which a body is moved, the stable states and the body, remains in its new state. In neutral equilibrium, the center of gravity of the body remains at the same height, irrespective to its new position. There are various objects which have neutral equilibrium such as a ball, a sphere, a roller, a pencil lying horizontally, an egg lying horizontally on a flat surface etc. 4.9 Stability and Position of Center of Mass As we have learned that position of center of mass of an object plays an important role in their stability. To make them stable, their center of mass must be kept as low as possible. It is due to this reason, racing cars are made heavy at the bottom and their height is kept to be minimum. Circus artists such as tightrope walkers use long poles to lower their center of mass. In this way they are prevented from topple over. 
Here are a few examples in which lowering figure 4.38, a needle is made of center of mass make the object stable. These to balance at its tip. Figure 4.37, neutral equilibrium, A, a ball is placed on a horizontal surface, B, the ball remains in its new displaced position. Card. Spa. Physics 9103, Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces. Figure 4.39, A, a perched parrot, B, a self-writing toy. Objects return to their stable state when disturbed. In each case center of mass is vertically below their point of support. This makes their equilibrium stable. Figure 4.38 shows a sewing needle fixed in a cork. The cork is balanced on the tip of the needle by hanging forks. The forks lower the center of mass of the system. Figure 4.39, A, shows a perched parrot which is made heavy at its tail. Figure 4.39, B shows a toy that keeps itself upright when tilted. It has a heavy semispherical base. When it is tilted, its center of mass rises. It returns to its upright position at which its center of mass is at the lowest. Summary Parallel forces have their lines of action parallel to each other. If the direction of parallel forces is the same, they are called like parallel forces. If two parallel forces are in opposite direction to each other, then they are called unlike parallel forces. The sum of two or more forces is called the resultant force. A graphical method used to find the resultant of two or more forces is called head-to-tail rule. Splitting up a force into two components perpendicular to each other is called resolution of that force. These components are a force can be determined from its perpendicular components as Torque or moment of a force is the turning effect of the force. Torque of a force is equal to the product of force and moment arm of the force. According to the principle of moments, the sum of clockwise moments acting on a body in equilibrium is equal to the sum of anticlockwise moments acting on it. Center of mass of a body is such a point where a net force causes it to move without rotation. The center of gravity of a body is a point where the whole weight of a body acts vertically downward. A couple is formed by two parallel forces of the same magnitude but acting in opposite direction along different lines of action. A body is in equilibrium if net force acting on it is zero. A body in equilibrium either remains at rest or moves with a uniform velocity. A body is said to satisfy second condition for equilibrium if the resultant torque acting on it is zero. A body is said to be in stable equilibrium if after a slight tilt it returns to its previous position. If a body does not return to its previous position when sets free after slightly tilt is said to be in unstable equilibrium. Physics 9104 Unit 4, Turning Effect of Forces A body that remains in its new position when disturbed from its previous position is said to be in a state of neutral equilibrium. 4.1 encircle the